video for you all here today. I just upgraded and updated my car. Um, first and foremost, uh, good morning. And um, check out the battery. We're at 100%. And with 100%, at this very moment, I'm getting 254 miles to the 100%. Now, when I got the car, it was like 272. So, you know, we've gone down almost 20 miles since I have gotten this Tesla Model 3. This is a rear wheel drive. Now, this morning, I have just received an update. Well, I received it last night. Um, and uh, here we go. These are our first impressions of 12.5 dot I believe four uh, I have to double check um, I had dot two the other day and now it's dot four uh, smart summon Ooh. I've already had summon I had summon for three years now it became smart uh, please don't check out my summon videos they're not all over YouTube and they're not outdated um, joking they are all over YouTube and they are fully outdated uh, even the ones on X if you've seen any of my summon videos they're all fake no I'm just kidding they're not fake but uh, summon has approved we have something called actually smart summon now and the jokes are just non-stop um, and uh, really excited to make some new videos you know, maybe I might get in the back seat of the car, make some videos. Here we go. So we are officially getting onto the highway for this morning commute here. And what a rainy, rainy morning we we are looking at uh, here in the DMV area. And uh, check this out. We are getting ready to slide through Tyson's Corner into Loudoun County. That is the goal here. And uh, not a single nudge has been asked for since the beginning of the recording of this video and uh, check this out we're gonna do a little test here we're gonna see we are gonna see if any nudges come and if any nudges come that means that I'm not paying attention all right so take a look I'm not sure if you can see it but there is a dandy green light here next to my blue steering wheel and now I'm at 99%. And I feel like I made it more than five miles on 1% right there. Um, honestly, uh, anyways. So here we go with the green dot. Green dot, what does it mean? It means you're paying attention. Uh, how do they determine that? They use the camera system, vision-based monitoring, uh, attentive-based monitoring, attention system. Are you paying attention? Wow, imagine, imagine stuff like our phone has, has this type of system built in now that we know the technology exists and it knows whether or not you're paying attention. Do you think, excuse me, do you think that other big tech companies are using this type of technology? Comment down below and uh, let me know what you think because I do, I definitely not only think so, I know so. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and plop on. Look at this new layout for the. Oh, there we go with our nav. So and it's gone. No hands. The second I looked at the screen, right? It gave me a little nag. It gave me about like five seconds on the screen to do what I was needing to do. Oh, excuse me. And then it started asking me for the nag. Um, but then again, the nag went away without my hands. So very, very cool uh, attention-based monitoring system here. Um, its life-saving potential is through the charts. Okay, so let's talk about this. I have actually been one of the very more you know outspoken people about this topic. I have several videos out on YouTube and X talking about hands-free and what it means to the people uh, excuse me, and uh, how we're going to react to it. 
there we go again. As soon as I yawned, I got a little pay attention to the road thing. That's crazy. Um, so, what does this mean for the people? What does it mean, number one? Number one, it means no cell phones while driving. Um, and uh, it should already be a rule in your lives and in your cars and in any car. Oh, maybe not just Teslas. This is important for people to live by this uh, rule and um, also treat it like um, such. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that truck was coming in hot. FSD slowed down and then it was able to. Yeah, very nice. Okay. So back to what I was saying your life and the importance of the life that you are living. Don't mess with it. Okay, you are being toyed with sitting in this driver's seat thinking that this car is going to drive you everywhere you need to go perfectly. Well, guess what? It does. Okay, but at the same time, your attention on the road is beyond, beyond needed. Okay, uh, people's attention spans are going down and down and down. And get this, I love shorts, okay? They're so much fun. I like making them. I uh, check out my so my shorts if you haven't, right? I, I have a lot of fun making the shorts when it comes to Tesla related stuff. I like to just have fun with it. A lot of the shorts are just fun, and my long form videos are more trying to be for educational purposes, right? So again, um, take that with a grain of salt because everyone learns differently, and uh, I think the best way to learn is sitting. Oh, excuse me. I was up early this morning sitting um, in the driver's seat. Nothing beats that, okay? So as long as you can spend some time behind the wheel and understanding what the capabilities of the car is, you become more comfortable in the driver's seat and uh, you just need to spend some time, really, at the end of the day. Uh, as soon as you, know, you spend some time, your comfort levels will gain. And you can lose that comfort, you know, after like six weeks if you don't drive uh, let's say I use FSD every day I mean that when I say I use FSD every day like I don't use it for every drive in every instance but whenever I feel like the, like you know it's early right now it's 6 52 in the morning and we are um, you know on the capital beltway here as the Sun is coming up but it's a very rainy day today don't expect you know the sun to fully come out uh, so it's gonna be one of those cloudy type days here in the DMV but you know these are the instances where I think FSD comes into play for me at a safety standpoint oh, excuse me, not that I can't drive in the mornings I just am really tired I have yet to have my cup of coffee and I do apologize for the yawns and um, I'm just waking up and uh, I don't like, you know, I'm at this point in my life where um, I'm happy with uh, my driving abilities and uh, I think I'm very proud of how far I've come. I've been driving for, I don't know, over 10 years now. So it gets tiring after a while, you know, and I know people older than me, I have older brothers and sisters and family members. Oh, that drive for a long time, man, and um, years and years and years, and uh, I know people that drive for a living, I know people that just drive to get to work, you know, I know people that um, spend a lot of time in their cars, and this is the very reason why I think it's important for people to recognize that paying attention can save your life. Okay, and uh, I truly mean that because as good as the car is, and I mean it's good, okay, it might drive better than you at this point. Um, again, take that with a grain of salt, you know, doesn't, if you can get to your destination in one piece, you are a good driver. Over time, your goal is to improve on that driving. Uh, in, in my opinion, the two things Oh, excuse me, man. All right, we're gonna cut this video here short pretty soon, but the the two things that I think are very important about being a good driver, number one is patience, all right? You gotta have it. If you don't, then you are, um, you're gonna be really frustrated with people. 
And then number two is processing information. Okay, you gotta have like some NVIDIA GPUs built into your head, something, you know, and uh, you gotta be able to process information quickly, 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 quickly. And when it comes to driving, uh, everything could change in a split second, you know, and the eyes that, you know, we are granted only go so far. Uh, when you have eight or ten eyes, then, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole other level. But yeah, thank you again for making it to this point in the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This was a super fun one to shoot. Um, mine is being super tired. Do apologize about that. Uh, coffee on the way as soon as I can stop here. Um, yeah. So I want to thank everyone again for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Hey, make sure you subscribe for more. And no, I will not be taking a nap in the car because of my attention-based monitoring system. I will be uh, making it to my destination. I would actually, I'm actually going to stop and get some coffee here real soon. As soon as I jump off of this highway. And uh, it looks like we are... 0.8 miles from Tyson's area so yes thank you again for watching have a blessed day